Hey folks, um, decided to do a quick video for you. Is any of you having problems where if you've got an Android phone, say for instance I've got a Samsung Galaxy S here, uh, only a couple of months old, um, and you've got to that stage where whenever you go into the Android market, you cannot actually download any applications or games or whatnot. Basically when you try and hit the download, um, you go OK, download it, runs you through all the options, and it says starting download, but then it suddenly stops and says download unsuccessful or download cancelled, things like that. It does it with everything you try and download. Um, I've been searching around on the net quite a lot about this because I did have the problem a long time ago when I first got the phone. A lot of people were saying that you could either make sure you're signed into Google Talk, which I did a bit of research, but there is no effectively Google Talk for the Android. There's Google Mail, there's, you know, you can get other ways of getting to your Google Mail make sure you signed into your Google Mail for your Android market, things like that, but none of it still worked. Um, so what I did, I did a bit more research, and people saying that you could do factory reset. Now, I did this, and it did work for me in the end, so you can give it a go. Now, I'm going to warn you now, if you do a factory reset, it does delete everything off your phone, so it deletes all your contacts, all your pictures, anything that's saved actually on your phone, save it to your SIM, or if you're on a PC, um, save it to uh, keys for your um, contacts. For me personally, when it comes to saving my contacts, I actually um, I, I save everything to Google itself. Why not? Um, Google is actually a, a quite an easy system when you've got an Android phone. For instance, on my phone here, you can see you've got the Google icon next to it. So I think, why not? Um, anyway, back to the situation. When you want to do factory reset, go to your settings and you want to go to privacy. And as you can see, the second option there is doing a factory data reset. You can try that first of all. I did it first time and uh, yes, it deleted everything off. It took a bit of time, started up again, counted through the data and whatnot. Um, and it did work for a couple of hours. That I could actually download my applications, it was working fine, so on and so forth. But then again, it stopped. The next thing you can actually try is turn off your actual phone and wait until your icons go dead. Um, now, there's different ways of doing this for different Android phones. This is for the Galaxy S, I'll say. Um, but uh, try and find out how to do a, a solid refactory set on your phone. What you want to do is, on the Galaxy anyway, you've got the power up, you've got your power, sorry, volume up, your power button and your home button. You want to hold all three of those buttons at the same time when your phone's powered off and everything's shut down completely. It will then give you the option to do um, a factory boot, which then basically again wipes everything off the phone and starts fresh. I did that. When I got back into the phone, before I started downloading applications or whatnot, I actually made sure that things such as anything that was to deal with Google Mail, I was signed into it. So, uh, for instance, uh, on every phone there should be some sort of standard emailing system. Now, let me just find it. So, for instance, on this there's actually mail just there. I, I logged into that, make sure, because I've got two Google Mail accounts, I signed into both of them, make sure they're up and running. After I'd done that, I made sure that I downloaded things like the actual Google Mail app for the phone, um, logged into that, made sure it was up and running. Just anything that had Google Mail and could log into it, I signed into it. And so far I've had my phone about three months now and I've not had any other problems with it. It's still working perfectly fine. So I hope that's a fix for you. Um, it's pretty much quite a quick video, quite a simple video in fact. But uh, please comment, rate and subscribe. If you're having problems, give me a shout. Um, I will try and help you with anything with the actual Samsung Galaxy. I'm still learning myself, but I'll try and find out for you. Other phones, I'm afraid I can't help you because I, I don't know on how to do factory sets for them. If in doubt, Google it. Simplest way. Um, but I will try and help you as much as possible. I hope to do more videos in the future. Um, so just uh, if you have any ideas, certainly give me a shout and I will try and do some videos for you. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, we'll see you next time.